Yeah, I suppose living the Malay way, coming from Australia, was a, a big culture shock. But, but like I said, being beautiful people that uh, my wife's family are made it really easy. Hello, my name is Brett. I am co-owner of Soul Food Catering, which is a Western Fusion Nazilima. Basically, I've always had an interest in Southeast Asia, and uh, Malaysia was the first stop, and that's when I first on a roadside stall, saw Nazi Lima, ate it, loved it, met my wife, came to Singapore, been over here many times, great place, great place. I love Nazi Lima, so we thought, well, Nazi Lima, how can we do it? Love a barbecue, especially uh, in Australia with friends and family in the backyard. So we thought, oh, let's try and drag the Australian barbecue into this Nazi Lima. Nazili Muk was probably the number one once we decided to, to do one thing because it's a cultural favourite. So it was basically the standout when we decided to narrow it down. A lot of other places are doing some great things as well. It's a very versatile dish to work with. Um, well, the bangers and hash is obviously a uh, play on bangers and mash, which um, isn't inherently Australian, but it's big in Australia. We got rid of the mash and put in the hash browns. It's basically two chicken cheesy sausages with caramelised onions, a hash brown, and then the traditional Malay with it as well. Oh, one of my favourite breakfasts in Australia, the Eggs Benny. Comes with the smoked salmon or the turkey bacon. And having the two poached eggs too. I don't think many Nuzzy Muck places have poached eggs, and it works superb. But it's obviously it's on toast in Australia, so we thought we'd bring it in. This was one of the biggest risks we um, we had with the Nazili Marks. Well, yeah, this was my idea because of my love for smoked salmon. It's obviously um, a nice big serving of smoked salmon with the poached egg as well. And we have the saffron sauce, which is a sort of a garlic, a cream sauce with some saffron infused in it. My favourite, the, the Surf and Turf Nazili Mark, has a sirloin steak with a couple of scallops and prawns and um, the garlic cream sauce as well. The nuzzy muck on the side goes beautiful. When you get that steak just dry, charred, beautiful, great. It's sort of a take on your old school Malay uh, limaks. My wife played around with the batter to make the paprika and herb. The batter comes up great. They're a favorite amongst a lot of people. Trying to think of what barbecue items to add. There was a few risks we took. We had to brainstorm what would go with the nuzzy limak, with the sambal. Quite a few things, oh no, that won't go with sambal, oh this might. Yeah, just trial and error with what goes with and what doesn't. You try and pick a name that's not going to wear within three months, sound corny. We take soul food as not just physical food you put in your belly, it's a spiritual path sort of thing as well. Everyone you meet, everyone who comes into our shop, everything is food for your soul. So we, we went with that. Before coming to Singapore, I was a long distance truck driver. My only uh, cooking experience was barbecuing for the family and friends in the backyard. I always loved being the cook when I could, and that's my only experience with cooking beforehand. And same with my wife, she's never done it on a public scale, always been just for family and friends. We knew each other for a couple of years first, just um, online talking, and then during my travels when I was in Malaysia, I thought I'd come to Singapore and meet her, and yeah, sort of went from there, but it was mainly a, a friendship at, at the start. When my wife and I were first married, we, went, we lived in Australia for five years, a few dead ends over there with work and whatever that we weren't quite satisfied with. My wife has always been a good cook. She was missing her family, had five years with me, so said, let's come to Singapore and we'll try and get your cooking going. And yeah, but I knew that I wanted to get my wife cooking for the public. Yeah, both our families are um, very supportive. My um, father-in-law is here, he works with us now. He uh, left his job to come here, he, he loves it. My wife's mother also helps us a lot, making sambal and coming in when needed. My parents are obviously in Australia, very supportive as well, just want us to go well, as every parent do for their, for their children. My mum's the biggest fan on our Facebook, actually, always. Love hearts everywhere, <laughs> as you can imagine. <laughs> a lot of our local customers here are now our good friends. Really, really um, humbling that they keep coming back to the shop. People are very friendly, especially in Kampung Gom here. It's like a little town like where I grew up in, in Australia. Most people have had Nazi Mark, but we try and put something a little bit different you know, to um, bring the barbecue fusion in, something a bit different with something that's cultural. I don't believe anyone else in Singapore is doing Aussie barbecue nazi limak. Also, we fresh cook everything. No matter if it's a chicken wing, right through to the barbecue, everything is fresh cook as you order. Yeah, and also the passion we put into it. You know, we, we really want to serve dishes, nazi limaks, that people are satisfied with. And people come, you know, people take photos when you put them down on the table and they come and say how, how they enjoyed it. 
very flattering, very, very humbling, and um, makes you really want to come in the next day and do it all over again.